Hello, this is a Tachi channel. So today we're gonna do something a little special. Uh, um, we're going to explain that uh, there are uh, lots of Pokemon out there that have uh, completely been destroyed for me by you people. Oh, that, well, that's not a surprise. You people have destroyed a lot of things for me. Like uh, watching AMVs about myself because of the comments I get and the person who made them. But anyway, uh, let's go over to this. There are several Pokemon, only ten made the list, of course, that have been destroyed for me by you people. Some, there are exceptions, though, so I actually still like some of these Pokemon. But stop. The Pokemon I like are being bitched about, okay? But for, forget, here we go. At number ten, the almighty god of the seas, or whatever the fuck it's called. Whatever, it's a weather, I don't know. The one who controls the seas and all that shit, it's Kyogre. Now, why has Kyogre been destroyed for me I by you people? Oh, well, let's see. Kyogre, uh, I, my favorite animals are sharks, okay? But, uh, I used to, uh, like Kyogre. It was used to be, uh, in the top ten of my favorite Pokemon list. Now it's been reversed. Uh... Kyogre has been destroyed by you people, okay? It's by far the most used legendary on Wi-Fi. By far! You, you can't do a couple battles without seeing a Kyogre. It, it's such a bitch to KO. Water Spout is a bitch in itself. Ooh, is it hit two Pokemon at once? That dealt some damage, too. Uh, it, it makes me pissed off. Whenever I can't even look at a Kyogre without thinking about all the trouble it's caused me on the internet. Kyogre is a good Pokemon, but it sucks to me. Not only not suck for you, but it sucks for me. Uh, now I promised myself I'd do five minutes on each of these, except the uh, top four, which I'm going to do a whole video about. So this is going to be a couple videos. It's going to be, let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be seven or eight videos about this, and then we're going to combine them all at the end, but anyway, so, here we go, well, what is this, okay, so Kyogre has been raped to death by, it's sheer cold, Kyogre's not very accurate with it, but, uh, it's still there, and then when she gave it thunder, and oh my god, Hydro Pump is a bitch too, and so is Water Spout in the rain, but whatever, when it's raining, well, uh, Kyogre gets stabbed for all of its water moves, and Jesus Christ, it becomes a dick. It, 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 the only way to block it is by sending out a Groudon, or using Sunshine, or whatever the fuck that was called. It, it is a fucking dick. You can't look at it the way you used to after it's beaten so many of your Pokemon and been used on the internet 20 times a day. You just can't look at the Kyogre the same anymore. Especially for people like me who try to be fair and bring one legendary on to defend himself. That legendary fun fact, by the way, is my favorite Pokemon. It's Mewtwo. Mewtwo's awesome. And, um, oh yeah, that's another thing. Mewtwo is the most powerful Pokemon, okay? It just is. Uh, RCS is the only Pokemon that I think breaks that rule. Mewtwo is stronger than everything. Oh, well, 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 well crazy can't. Well, guess what? But Papalki account, well, guess what? Me first, spatial rend, the end. Okay, so so Kyogre is also obviously in that chain too, although his, uh, Kyogre, I can't stand it anymore. It's number 10 on this list. I used to like it, I wanted to love it, but I can't. I cannot love a Pokemon that kicks my ass, but it should not be allowed on Wi-Fi. It just should not. Uber should not be allowed on Wi-Fi, and then half the people wouldn't play on Wi-Fi anymore because they're not allowed to bring the fucking cheap-ass legendaries like Kyogre. But it, but some of them are no problem. Like uh, one of the legendaries on this list is no problem to kill off at all. That. But it's stupid. You people have raped this Pokemon for me. That is not good. What else are you gonna rape? Well, besides the nine other things on this list, anyway. What Pokemon are you going to rape in the future? That's what I'm concerned about. What will you rape next? The anime has its own share of raping Pokemon, too. Don't worry, I'm making another video about that, too. So, uh, we should probably move on, since, I have, since I've said basically everything I wanted to say about Kyogre. 
Number nine is, uh, Zorark. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Zorark. I, the first time I ever saw Zorark Master of Illusions, uh, the movie sucked. The plot made no sense at all. And, uh, it, it seemed too convenient for the heroes, if you ask me. The, the guy that could see into the future caused much more of a threat than he could have. Than it could have caused much more of a threat than he did in the actual movie. Uh, it, it was a bizarre plot. Uh, there were so many plot holes to the movie that I'm actually doing one right now. I'm doing a uh, full watching and explaining them all. But now let's move on to the subject, though. The only thing okay about the movie besides the shiny legendary beast and Selby was Zorark. Of course, I had a couple corny moments, so it, was, it is lower on the list than Selby and the Legendary Beast, but uh, still, it was the it was by far the most entertaining Pokemon of the movie besides all the Legendaries, and the Ninjask, and the Scizors, and the Shuppet, and the uh, Miss Magius. But, it, it, you people ruined it for me. I could have liked that Pokemon, but I can't. You people say, Oh, it's just so badass! And something like, this was the most badass Pokemon ever. It could totally kick everyone's ass. No, it can't. Let me tell you one. Let me tell you one thing that made Zorark of uh, the way she was in the movie. The writing. That's right. Zorark was made the, so badass because of the writing. Lucario and was made him so badass because of the writing. I want to tell you something. Zorark is often compared to Lucario. Well, I'll, let me tell you something. Oh, crap. Let me tell you something. Lucario is a fighting type. Lucario wins. The end. But the bottom line is, peop the Pokemon world actually had some guts back in the Hoenn region. Latios and Lucario died. They died. Yeah. That's when, back when the movies were actually entertaining. You didn't know what was going to happen next. Lucario and Latios died. And Ash seems to die in every fucking movie, but he still gets brought back. That, that, that makes no sense. But Zorark... When uh, someone getting misty-eyed over that movie... Zorark is, is not badass, okay? It's just not. And, and, and Zorark is, not, is the, actually the opposite of badass. Zorark is a pussy. A what? A what? Well, I'm not actually referring to the anime anymore. I'm talking about the games now. In the games, when people hack to get Zorark, because that's the only way you can get them right now, in the Black and White 2, there's actually a legal way, but uh, in this game, in Black and White, you can only hack to get them. So when people hack, guess what? He doesn't even fight as himself. He, f he fights by transforming into others. That is pussy. He's not fighting. He's just transforming into other Pokemon and having them fight. No, Zorark is a pussy. But and uh, don't even tell me there's a lot of strategy involved when using Zorark. No, absolutely not. Zorark is a pussy. Yeah, I wanted to like a Pokemon like a transform that was much better than that pathetic piece of crap Ditto, but I can't because you people destroyed it for me. Zorark was destroyed by you people. Think about that. You've destroyed Kyogre and Zorark. Pokemon that could have been badass. Ky but Zor- oh, badass. Did I just mention Zorark could be badass? No. The anime wrote him badass, and he can't capture and pwn three legendaries at once. It's just not gonna happen. So, the legendary dogs had a disadvantage because of their size. I, I would like to see- the same sequence of events of the Pokemon 13th movie, repeated, but with the creation trio in their place, of the Legendary Beast. Oh. Oh, no! So imagine this. If Zorark had faced Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina instead of the Legendary Beast, what do you think would have happened? I know. There wouldn't be a nice reunite shade. What? Uh, there would not be a uh, re reunited scene between uh, Zora and Zorark because he get fucking murdered. Zorark is a pussy. The end, people. The end.